Hey, 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 welcome into Fantasy Film Ball, the show where we turn movies into sports and sports into something we don't talk about here, and my name is Matt. And my name's Dill, and guess what? Today, we get to talk about one of my favorite movies, Scratch That. We're talking about my favorite movie of 2023 so far. Granted, I've seen like five, technically, 2023 movies, but missing. This movie rocks. Matt, you just saw this recently. What did you think about it? I did. So, before we get into it, Missing is the new film from the team behind Searching about a young woman whose mother goes missing on vacation in Colombia. Uh, and as she tries to track things down, it all unfolds on her computer screen, which if you've seen Searching, you know how that goes down. If you haven't seen Searching, what are you waiting for? Go watch it. It's such a good mystery. And this one follows suit. This is a twisty thriller that for for the entire thing it had me going i had no idea where it was going it continually surprised me and by the end i i was shocked by where it ended up going uh even more so actually i think than searching i think searching to me by the end i was like oh yeah that makes that makes total sense and and i think i kind of got it at some point with this one there's some things in there that just had me like whoa okay that adds entirely new layers to this it is such a good mystery movie. Go in knowing as little as possible. Yeah, so if you haven't watched Missing yet, glowing reviews from both of us. I love this. Matt loved this. Go watch it. I don't care if you even come back. Watch this movie. Yeah. But if you have seen Missing, from here on out, will be spoiler discussion because those people should have left by now. And yes. I feel like you can't really talk about this movie much without spoilers because even saying it's twisty, it's turning, it has you expecting something to happen. But yeah. this movie delivers so much because, yes, it is twisty and turning, but it's not twisty and turning just to be like, ha-ha, guess what? Here's another right turn. Here's another left. Here's crazy thing on the wall. It all it all makes sense. It's not like random yeah. stuff. It, it adds to a larger story. Like You get little teases throughout, and I'm really excited to rewatch this. I've meant to do it for a while. I saw this at an early screening, loved it. I meant to go out opening weekend, got a little busy, but I can't wait to rewatch this to see, can I pick up on stuff throughout because yeah. – Regardless of anything else with this movie, you got to appreciate the editing and the visuals because there's so much packed onto the screen where you could be looking to the left, but something's going on the right while you're supposed to be focusing on the left. And same thing, vice versa. Uh, searching that as well, and searching was so rewarding on rewatches. Oh, yeah. so I'm sure Missing does the same. Oh, one of my favorite things most... is, is near the end, um, it's like months later, and in her text at the side of the screen, you see that Angel is still texting her being like, hey, just checking in again. <laughs> I'm, I'm wondering when you're back in L.A. because I really – I'd love to get my watch back at some point. And yeah. I pointed it out to my fiance. I was like, oh, my God, look at that. Like, did you, did you see that? And she was like, what? oh, my God, that's so good. There's so many little details throughout. It would be so rewarding. Yes, definitely. But what – even more so than the rewarding details, what I love most about this movie – and searching had this as well a great lead performance and storm recaptivates yes. the screen she's someone who's had a very interesting career path for me because she started off with a wrinkle on time a very divisive movie to some but since then she's had great casting she's everything she's been in has been great she's usually been the highlights of most things she's been in and that doesn't stop here um with being a movie in this style of where you kind of have to stare at her for an entire nearly two hour runtime and she just delivers. She brings you in. You feel invited. You feel connected to her character without really knowing much to start. And throughout the story, you're so invested in her. You want her to be okay. You want her family to be okay. You want everything to work out. And when each one of these wild left turns come out of nowhere, you're on board because she's on board. Yeah. Uh, it, something that I think that both of these movies do well, that Searching and Missing do extremely well, is the emotional factor. I think they use the Pixar effect really well where they start both of these movies off by getting you invested in the life of of the characters and the family at the center of it. Um, in Searching, the film starts off with uh, all these clips of the family being together um, and then ultimately leading up to the mother dying. And the same thing happens here where the film starts with a, a clip of a father and daughter uh, playing on vacation and just being so like sweet together and then moving to seeing the main character dealing with the grief of not having her father um i think that there's so much to be said for how this film uses emotions both to um 
to enhance our understanding of the characters, but also to surprise us. And here's my final warning. If you haven't seen the movie and you still are here, get the fuck out of here. I'm about to drop a big bomb of a spoiler here. So get Go the ahead. fuck out. If you're in the podcast, skip forward like 10 minutes. I don't care. Just get out of here. Look at the description. Look at the description and get the fuck out of here. So the thing that uh, blew me away about Missing's use of emotion as deception is the way that that first clip feels so different at the beginning of the film when all we know is this is a father and daughter, when we're put into the main character, uh, into June's mindset of, wow, I miss my dad. And then juxtaposing it with when we see that same footage later on, but now we know the reason why this footage is being deleted. The reason why uh, she's packing up and moving away. It's that she's a victim of domestic violence and that this is this man is an insane stalker who will stop at nothing mm-hmm. to find them. Um, it uses emotion to make us not even think that it's a possibility that this character could be behind it. Because we are convinced, not only is he dead, but even when he shows up at the door, I, at least I was not believing that he was going to be the bad guy. Yeah. I mean, I didn't even realize it was him at first until, like, they, they she was like, Dad? I was like, wait, what? No, for like, me, it was as soon as he mind. takes the, the hood off. As soon as he takes the hood off, I was like, wait, what? And yeah. I, it didn't click for me that this even could be about domestic violence until much later in the not much later like until it got into the sequence of um uh you know going back all these years Mm -hmm. to yeah him explaining yeah not even him explaining when it goes to the clips of when Mm -hmm. she's erasing all of her internet history and moving and all of that and we see her doing the makeup tutorial of how to cover up a bruise um yeah that's that's like it does such a good job of hiding it because you don't even suspect that this person that we see from this one video could be capable of this. But of course, yeah, uh, as in real life, the, a lot of the time, the people that we least expect to be capable of horrible things are the ones who can. Well, you mentioned Grace there, and I want to shift over to the ensemble here because I think this movie has a great cast just like searching as well. Nia Long's great as Grace. Storm Reed, as I mentioned before, delivers as June. I even thought uh, Kevin Lung was or Ken Lung was great as Kevin. Like that's such a weird role to play. And he fits like the awkwardness as well as the, like, like, Hey, he's probably like a little like menacing underneath, but the guy who played Javi was great. He added the much needed comedic relief throughout. And I, I just love the, the connection that June and Javi have throughout the, uh, you, uh, going back to her father of James played by Tim Griffin. That would be the one, to me was a little bit of a weak leak, but that is a very hard role to pull off because you, like you said, you don't really know what this character's about. And then you get the reveal. And then to me, it was a little bit over the top. And that's where some of my gripes with this movie comes is that last act where it's very, very much like going for it. Uh, I still really love this movie. I would give it a very strong eight, but that yeah. last act is like, okay, you're a little much right now, but I'm still, I'm still rocking with it. But overall I thought the cast was great. Mm-hmm. We just did um, earlier. We did our personal like extra add-ins for the Oscar nominations. And for me, this will be a very strong competitor for editing come next year. Yeah. Um, so something that I want to say about both searching and missing, and it's when I first saw searching, it was a 10 out of 10 for me. When I watched it again, I still love it, but it dropped out of a, out of my 10 out of 10s. And the mm-hmm. reason for that is that, I think that the thing that both of these films struggle with is figuring out how to make a cinematic conclusion to a mystery when we're still constrained to a laptop screen. Yeah. Um, And the difficulty there is that they break the rules. (laughs) They break the rules by making it all security camera footage. And like, yes, technically it still fits, but at the same time, it also doesn't. And they do it in searching Mm -hmm. too. In searching, there's all these scenes where they plant video cameras in places. And at that point, if they're planting video cameras, it doesn't feel like anymore we're we're doing the the computer screen movie. It now feels like a found footage movie. And 
ultimately that's where i think missing's biggest weak point is is that the conclusion of the movie feels like it's breaking its own rules um by using this intercut footage See, i i agree with that for the most part but one thing i did like about breaking the rules in this one was the scenes where there was like the fake netflix show either about oh, searching or about that. missing i i, I, I love those sequences here because like you, the movie opens or not opens but like one of the first scenes is with one of those like wait that's searching but it's yeah. not it's people playing it and then the movie ends oh yeah with the same thing when i thought i was like wait that's not john cho that's not john yeah. cho like, I was like what are we doing no here? way they he looks di- that much different they had to like reshoot something like a year or two or yeah. i guess it's been and four years the since reveal that, but, yeah. that it was it's a true crime show is so good and then i love at the end that yeah. she's watching the true crime show of of her own case uh and she now understands god why do people watch this crap like what is this um no i i like that a lot i think there were a lot of creative choices here but there are a lot of limitations that being on a computer screen give you, and ultimately it makes it so that the, in order to do a proper climax, you do have to break the rules that you've set up for yourself, which, you know, ultimately I think it impacts both searching and missing um, for the negative. Just slightly, there's still great films, there's still great mysteries, but, you know, do they leave the deepest impact on me lasting? Uh, not so much just because the conclusion they can't quite crack it fair enough fair enough my final thoughts here would be i i just thought this was a great time i love the acting performances the editing this is when i can't wait to rewatch, and i still hold true to what i said uh three weeks ago at this point this is the best january release uh we would go redo that draft now that it's eligible i would pick this first overall but as always please like this video leave a comment what did you think about missing because i sure hope that you're still not like if you haven't seen the movie you should be out of here by now so if you're still here let us know what you think about the movie as always my name is matt and my name is dill and this is fantasy film ball